Ramadan Kareem. Well, first I want to say thank you to the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta for inviting me today to greet Georgia's Muslim community. I want you to know that I take great pride in honoring the Muslim community's contributions and traditions in our great state of Georgia. As this once in a century pandemic has revealed to us, these challenging, sometimes isolating times we live in have called us all to seek a deeper understanding of one another. Dr. King used to say that we are tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. As a person of faith and a faith leader myself, I have a bond with my Muslim sisters and brothers because all of us Christians, Jews, and Muslims are children of Abraham. And beyond that, each of us on this earth is indeed a child of God. And so long before serving as one of Georgia's U.S. Senators, I committed myself to expanding interfaith relationships uh, in our state and promoting a greater appreciation for the many Muslim communities that call Georgia home. Uh, this Holy Month affords for us a special opportunity for deep reflection on how we can better empathize for the poor and the marginalized in our communities and across the country. Ramadan provides a pause to pray, to contemplate how we can strengthen ties within and outside our communities. And so thank you so very much. I'm so grateful for the many mosques and Muslim communities in Georgia who dedicate themselves to serving those experiencing homelessness, to welcoming those who are displaced, working across religious and cultural lines to continue the march toward what Dr. King called the beloved community. Thank you again for allowing me to join you today. Ramadan Mubarak.